Hey, Ag Teacher Thoughts here coming at you with a video today. I wanted to talk a little bit about cross-pollination and, well, development of varieties and plants that we consume. Now, uh, a couple months ago, I was in our local farm store and I was purchasing all of my seeds. If you saw that video where I was plant, uh, purchasing all of our tomato varieties and all of our other seeds we were going to plant for our greenhouse, these were some of the things that I also picked up. Of course, these I picked up for me. These were not for the school. They were for me because I thought they were fun. Corn, well, it's corn. But really the one that I picked up because I had interest in was this one here. And I wasn't familiar with the term broom corn. And so I turned it over and I was like, broom corn, is this, is this the ancient variety of corn? We'll get it to focus there. And I looked in here and it said, broom corn, Z maize. And if we look at the regular corn that we eat now, it is also Z maize. And I was like, sweet, this is that really ancient form of corn where we derived all of our corn from. And so I started doing some research on there and I was like, gosh, this is so cool. I mean, look at the difference. Look at the difference on those seeds. And then I did a little bit uh, more research on this and is this the ancient kind of corn that uh, we come from? As the, the, the package says, the package says Z maize. Is it Z maize? Is it actually one of our older species of corn? And I started looking at the, the package and I talked to uh, one of my coworkers and he was like, oh, that's, that's, that's broom corn. I'm like, yeah, it's the ancient corn. And he's like, no, it's, it's broom corn. And so I looked up a little bit more about this and I did a little bit more research. And once I did, things started coming flooding back to me. This is not the ancient form of corn. This is most likely sorghum, uh, known as sorghum bicolor. This is going to be true Z maize. This is a plant that comes from China. But the actual plant that I should be looking for is called Teosinte, uh, Teosinte Mexicana. Uh, that is your original corn as we know corn was uh, first developed by North and South American um, native peoples. They were the first ones to cultivate it between six and 8,000 years ago. So this, this comes from China. This is cultivated here in North America. This is not what I was looking for, even though the package, the package says Z maize, it is not, it is not Z maize. Uh, we would need to be looking for Teosente. So Teosente, this has its kernels up here on the tassels. And Teosinte does have a cob of sorts. And if you imagine my finger was the cob, they would have seeds alternating on it as they go up. And there would be anywhere from, you know, three to eight uh, or nine kernels on each of the so-called cobs. Uh, this is a completely different plant. So yes, unfortunately, Livingston, you're not correct on this. This is not a Z maize. This is not a true corn. Um, it is sorghum bicolor. So that was kind of disappointing. That was definitely disappointing when I found that. But really, I guess the question is, why in the world was I thinking about these type of ancient plants and the ones that they come from? And it's because I'm getting ready to bring out my cross-pollination versions that I did. So they have been in my refrigerator uh, getting stratified. So stratified would be the term that you would use when you treat seeds with cold to simulate winter before planting them in spring and allowing them to germinate. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six different sets of seed that I did work on uh, or flowers that I did work on to try to do some cross pollinations. Now you'll see that video in there where I'm cross pollinating daylilies and iris trying to get some new colors. 
I'm going to plant these up in our germination chamber and get them going. However, we won't know the actual physical results of the blossoms probably until next year or the year after because these are going to be first year plants and you're probably not going to see them bloom until the second year or even third year on some of them. So yeah, that's what we're getting ready to line up for. And then as you're out looking for things, remember, even on seed packets, even though it says corn and it gives you a scientific name of Z-Maze, it is probably, unless it says Teosinte on it, not going to be the corn you're looking for for the ancient one. Doesn't mean I'm not going to plant it up and doesn't mean that I'm not going to enjoy the fact that we have an older style uh, uh, grain crop here. Um, it's just, it ends up being a type of sorghum rather than an actual physical corn. But anyway, hope you learned something today. Ag Teacher Thoughts out.